Hello YouTube. I have a special treat for you audio people today. I've wanted one of these turntables for quite a while. This is an Audio Technica AT LP120 USB. What this is, it's a clone of the Technics SL1200 turntable, which is a very highly regarded turntable. I've listened to a few of them myself and they're fantastic turntables. I've used a few, in fact, and they're great. I've never bought one because the price of them is just insane. Uh, I've seen them go for from anywhere to f from like $400 up to $800. The, and this is the second hand market we're talking about. Th these turntables are quite valuable. Uh, and I would have had one by now if it weren't for one thing that they lack, and that is the 78 speed. Now this Audio Technica takes care of that problem. This is a clone of the Technics SL1200 in every way, but it has an added benefit. It has the 78 speed, which is exactly what I need to transfer these 78s here and here. I have a lot of 78s I need to transfer, so having one of these around is definitely valuable to help make that happen. So, not only did I want it for that, uh, it's also good for transferring just regular vinyl as well. Uh, and it's better than a belt drive system that's never on the quite on the right speed half the time, which is definitely the case with my Sony turntable that I have used in the past. So, let's take a look at this particular turntable. Alright, so here's the box. It is a direct drive turntable. It has USB and analog on it. That's the one thing they added that the uh, Technics SL1200 doesn't have is the uh, preamp board that contains a USB port. And of course, they have a nice fancy uh, MacBook Pro on the front of it here with Audacity, as you can see by the waveforms there. That apple up there is actually uh, blue. Looks like Tiger to me. Wait, wait a minute. That's GarageBand? What? Anyway. <laughs> this is the model ATLP120 USB. There was also another model of this, which is the PL120. That one I think is better because it does not have the uh, USB in it. Uh, but. You know, I'm probably going to be modifying this turntable either way, so it's probably not going to matter. There's a bunch of the marketing stuff. There's also more on the side here that's just funny looking. There's another picture of the turntable itself. They just have all this, look at that vinyl. I guess that's a leaf. There's a bunch of vinyl. Look at that guy, he's just so into his music. <laughs> Seems all the marketing is the same on every single side. So, not much to say about the box. I'd, I'll turn it over, I think there's more information on the back. These are the specs of the machine. There's also some more information. Convert your LPs to digital files. Rediscover and preserve your classic LPs. Perfect for creating CDs and MP3 player files. Includes everything you need to transfer your LPs to your computer. And that's what I plan to use this turntable for, as a transfer machine. Uh, so, there you have it. The nice thing is, it does come with adapters. You get a Y cable that converts uh, 3.5 millimeter to the RCA jacks. There's also the, there's the male version and the female version. Then there's also the USB cable, which is basically just a printer cable. And of course a CD with some software on it. Ooh, CD. Anyway, here are the, uh, here's some more information about this particular turntable. It has USB output if you want to use that. Uh, it has Mac and PC compatible Audacity software that digitizes your LPs. I'm going to be using Adobe Audition 1.5 instead. It has a direct drive high torque motor. Selectable 33, 45, and 78 RPM speeds. Now the only speed that I see on other record players that this is missing is 16 RPM. Now so what 16 RPM is used for was mostly audiobooks and children's books uh, 
back in the day, and it was on a lot of the cheap BSR record changers and other uh, portable record players at the time. So you won't find that speed on here because this is a professional turntable uh, that's a clone of the Technics SL1200, and that didn't even have 16 speed, so it'd be stupid to expect that on here. But if you happen to have records that are that speed, I would advise using an older record player, one from the era, uh, to transfer those records, rather than slowing it down in software, because you won't get the same sound quality out of it. But 33, 45, and 78 are pretty safe speeds. Those are the most common records you'll find. Uh, 33s are generally albums, 45s are singles, and 78s are singles as well. Generally singles anyway. So there's some 78 records that are part of like big EPs and box sets and stuff, but that's the case with any, that you could really do that with any speed record, it just depends. Professional cast aluminum platter with slip mat, so they do give you a slip mat, which is pretty nice. Integral dual magnet phono cartridge with replacement stylus. Now, as of 2011, September 2011, they have actually started to include really nice cartridges with the with these. Um, on these newer models, they have started using the AT95E cartridge, which, from what I've seen, is a very, very uh, nice cartridge. So, I was originally going to replace the cartridge with a Grado, but I'm going to give the Audio-Technica one a chance first and see how good it sounds. Uh... Balanced tone arm with soft damping control, and the soft damping just means when you drop the tone arm, it goes down slowly, so it doesn't damage the stylus or your record. Switchable built-in preamp with line-level RCA output cables. So you can use it as a regular turntable in a stereo system if you want with uh, the output cables, but I'm going to be using the RCA cables for transferring vinyl anyway, so... Now what I'm going to be doing, is I'm going to be using the RCA output cables for transferring vinyl anyway because I need to feed it into a particular sound card that I really like. Included cables connect to your stereo or powered speakers. Stroboscopic platter speed indicator, so it has a strobe so you can set the speed properly. Forward and reverse play, so you can do back masking on this turntable. And I'm sure that's what a lot of people did with the Technics SL1200 as well. It includes the turntable, obviously. It includes Audacity on a CD, a USB cable, and adapters. Now, you need USB 1.1, guys. you got to remember that. <laughs> you need CDRs for burning CDs. And you need a computer running Mac OS 10.1 or later, or a PC using Windows 98 and above. So you could take an old clunker you know, a Windows 98 machine you have in your attic or basement and use it to transfer records if you wanted to. Which isn't a bad way to get use out of an old machine again. As you can see, this is the 2011 version of this. Made in China. But I assure you that these turntables are good quality despite the Chinese uh, manufacturing process. So, let's open this and take a look at it. Alright, now here's a good look at the turntable completely assembled. Now, how I first heard about these or was actually at a job I used to have. Uh, I used to work at a place where we transferred older video and audio formats like vinyl, film, tape, uh, to the newer formats. So basically we'd do things like transfer hi eight video to DVD or 16 millimeter film to DVD or transfer things like records, tapes, even DAT tapes over to uh, CDs. And we had one of these turntables, the older model there, that we used to transfer other records. And that older model actually sounded great. I had a few transfers of my own vinyl from working there that still sound really good. And that's with the older cartridge that was not the highly regarded one that this one is. So that's pretty impressive in my book. And it operates just like a Tactics SL 1200 does. Uh, I have transferred 78s with these before and uh, got pretty good results with it at that job I used to have. So I have a feeling that I'm going to be pretty happy with this. I do have a 78 stylus for the stock cartridge on order, so I'm going to try that uh, once that arrives. That's arri bleh, Once that arrives, which, as of filming this video, is tomorrow, so that'll be pretty nice. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I should really unwrap this tone arm. It's twisty here, so I can actually use the thing. There we go. Uh, so let's just demonstrate how this operates now. 
those of you who have used a Technic SO 1200 need no introduction. It works exactly the same way as those do. But for those of you who have it, turn it on by flipping the switch up here. Then that turns the strobe on, turns all your LEDs on. Now you can select 33 here or 45, or you can hit both at the same time to get 78 on the control right there. And your start and stop is just a big old button here. There's your uh, 33 speed. There's 45. Here's 78. Nice and fast. And when you press stop, it uses the electronic brake using the magnets to, do, to stop it. Bam! It's a fast, fast record player. And then you can also do reverse. So you can spin your vinyl backwards if you want. Which is good if you like back masking, because, you know, some people liked to do that back in the day, except they would turn the record backwards with their finger instead of using a turntable that could do it for them. So the controls are easy, everything is manual, so there's no uh, automatic mechanisms to break, unlike on my Sony, my cheapo Sony turntable. <clears throat> um, it's pretty easy to operate. Uh, pretty easy to operate. Here's an example of the, uh, here's a demonstration of the, uh, of the uh, slow lowering of the tone arm. It goes down pretty slowly. Don't worry, I have the cover on the stylus so it's not going to get damaged. But everything is manual so you get no reactions that you aren't expecting or don't want. It just it's all manual, just like any professional turntable would be. And there you have it. As far as USB turntables, this is probably the best one you can get, especially for the price. There you have it. That is the Audio Technica ATLP120 USB, the new turntable I'll be using for transferring vinyl to digital formats. Uh, I'm going to give the built in preamp a, a test to see how I like it. If it's good enough for me, I'll use it. If it's not, I'll probably make a video of modifying this turntable as well to bypass the preamp. It's pretty easy to do, but I figure I should just make a video of it uh, just to show you guys what it's all about. So there you have it. This is a clone of the Technics SL1200, which actually has added benefits. That For me, being the 78 speed, everything else is basically the same as the Technics SL1200, apart from the USB, of course. But that's how most uh, turntables are packaged these days, uh, in a way that you can transfer all the stuff to your computer. So, that is the Audio Technica. I will upload some uh, samples of this, of how this turntable sounds with the stock preamp as well. So, this is the new turntable I'll be using. Here is the turntable's new spot next to my reel to reel deck. I also use for transferring reel to reels, and it's by where my uh, transfer PC has been set up, which is over here by the router and all the rest of this stuff by the door. So, what I've done is I've uh, <laughs> the case looks different. I now have my old Core i3 Linux box in this computer running Windows XP now uh, for the uh, for the transfer process for the audio programs and the video programs and whatnot. And, uh, there you have it. Uh, I also moved that build into this Lee and Lee case. So I have a Lee and Lee case on my studio computer now, which makes it look kind of slick. But yeah, this is a new spot for the Audio Technica turntable. Once the 78 stylus gets here, I'll have ways to import all these albums and all these uh, albums as well. Well, not albums, more records, 78s. So I'll be able to import all those and get them all transferred because they've been waiting to be transferred for quite a long time. Now what I'd like to do eventually is get a nice Grado cartridge for this thing uh, just so I can get the best sound I can get out of it. Uh, but I'm going to give the Audio Technica cartridge a chance since it's a new audiophile grade cartridge that's supposed to sound really good. So the only thing I might need to have to do is modify this to get rid of the preamp and then use a different preamp that sounds better 
one with a 12AX7 tube in it, for example. So, there you have it. That is the Audio Technica AT LP120 USB. There'll be some follow up videos on what this thing sounds like uh, through the RCA cables as well as through USB. So, keep watching for those. But for now, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.